I'd like to encourage you if you if you like what you see and you're finding benefit in it, please hit the like and then and click on subscribe and uh, we'll be glad to have you along with us. We'll let you know when we're putting more videos up that way. All right, Dennis here with Capital Training and Shoeing. I'm here with a good friend of mine. This is Daniel Gallegos. I, I think I said Gallegos. that right. You got it. Yeah, and and Daniel, I believe, is probably one of the best polo players in the whole world. And uh, he brings a horse up here from time to time for me to ride for him. And he brought one in, in this morning here. So tell us about this horse, Daniel, what you're going to be doing with her, what you'd want to do with her. Well, what I'm going to do with her is try to make a polo pony off of her. But she's been torn him out in the pasture because she got all injured. And like you can see, she's like, she don't miss any meals. Yeah, she's the fattest. She got a little fattest a little bit I've ever seen. <laughs> But uh, she healed from the injury that she got, and she looks great now. Uh -huh. So I want to bring it to you to see if you can help me out to, to start her. So what kind, of, what kind of field do you need on a polo pony so that they'll work with you when you're playing? Well, I want to make sure that she's quiet mentally, mm -hmm. and then later on to make it be sensitive in the mouth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so that way in, in polo we stop and turn all the time. It has to be one-handed, right? And, and you ride it with one hand, yeah. So you'd like have to teach it how to be a neck rein. Mm -hmm. Neck rein, you call mm -hmm. it, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can ride it with one hand. Yeah. Uh, usually that's that's the way we teach, uh, or that's the way we want a polo horse. Yeah. You know? So how do you, how do you get those horses down there to where they can run wide open and then they can, they can accept the pressure of the game and not just raise up and leave you out there on the, on the field? Well, you take a little trainer a lot of training, you know, to, to get the horse to do that and to have the right bed on the mount too. A oh, bit makes you, a lot of difference you know, make, for you. Make a lot of difference, you know. We use like what we call pelams mm -hmm. or gags, you mm -hmm. know, like Gag snaffles bit. or something like yeah. that. And, you know, obviously you always want to make sure your horse has the teeth done and, and all that stuff that the horse feels comfortable with the bed on the mount so that way he can perform good for you in the polo field but uh, yeah uh that's that's the thing you know some horses take the pressure especially the breads. Mm -hmm. some ones doesn't you know some you no know, every horse that we roll or we ride up there uh, make it to be a tough polo pony mm -hmm. you take it you know two three years of training yeah and play some practice games we call or some polo matches where you put the pressure on it so that way we can run back and forth in the big field yeah and stop and turn and don't leave us like you say yeah so they don't take off and say you know what i got enough <laughs> yeah it takes a while to build her confidence i'm sure exactly mm -hmm. yeah it does yeah and the right type of horse i guess and the right type of person sitting on top of them well yeah yeah <laughs> i mean you know you, you cannot put a beginner on on a horse they don't know how to take the pressure yet mm -hmm. you really have to put like a beginner in a horse they already been taking the pressure 1,000 times or something like that that the horse is comfortable with and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so how do you, you, I mean, the way that you have to be in there, it, it looks chaotic to an outsider watching. You, you're up in there and you're, and you're focused down here and, you're, and your horses. How do you, do you get to where you're not pulling on the reins too much? Well, the, I say that's pretty much a balance of you, you know, the, the, the rider, so you don't kind of hang in, in the mouth mm -hmm. of the horse. Uh, that's what we do. We use a lot of legs. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you balance in, in, in your saddle, in the polo saddle. So uh, we try to stay off the horse's mouth mm -hmm. as much as we could. Yeah. Uh, that way the horse be comfortable. But if you got some people that kind of hang in the mouth and everything, and, and the horse don't like it, they're going to let you know right away. You yeah. know, start to do something different yeah. and he's not going to do what you asking him to do sure like stop turning go to the right go to the left if the horse don't feel comfortable because you're hanging too much in the mouth mm -hmm. the horse going to say you know what mm -mm. yeah that's so, one one thing i've always noticed about you whenever you've had horses here and you and you ride behind me when i watch you ride you're very deliberate with your hand you know exactly yeah. what you want that horse to do and the minute that horse thinks about doing what you want they've got release Exactly, you know, exactly. And we that, try to do, yeah, yeah. You just pull it to, to like when you're running with a horse mm -hmm. in the polo field, 
you let it go running and then you put the pressure on the in the bed like bring it back so yeah. that's why the horse slides in the back end uh -huh. and stop as soon as he stops you release the reins yeah and then we're going to turn to the right so you you move your hand and that's what we call the neck rein yeah. And you go with the reins to the side like that and hit the neck and feel the pressure in the mouth, they turn it. Yeah. So that's what you want. You know, a, a, every signal is different. Yeah. And you probably don't like, you probably don't want them bending in that turn much either, do you? No, 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 no. You you want them to work out in the back end and they kinda spin. Stay, stay straight. Kinda spin to the to the sides. Yeah. That's a lot of quickness. Yeah. You know, to yeah. to, 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 to when the ball change in directions, you yeah. stop your horse and, 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 and <laughs> That's what we call these horses stop and turn in a dime. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's what the saying say coming up. Uh, so how old is this horse that you brought in here? This mare is already seven years old. Mm-hmm. And she was broke, is broke she, to she's ride. She's broke, she's broke to ride and, and all that stuff. But like I said, she got an injury. So we got to turn him out and just let him be. Okay. And, uh, and now we check it up and everything and she's perfectly fine. She's ready to start working again. and and uh and continue what we was start doing it with her in the beginning you know try to make a polo pony off of her okay well, let me take her out here in the middle of the pen and move her around a little bit and, and see what she's like and then yeah definitely That's real nice there, I think, Daniel. She just, she's got a real nice posture as she's carrying herself around. She's looking where she's going, and she's uh, she's not overreacting to this flag. And that, so she's she's doing exactly what I want her to do, except for right there. When she she hit that back up, I didn't quit until I got that forward. I think you'd mentioned that that. Uh, uh, there was a tendency in her when she was being ridden to not go forward so I'm trying to deal with that here on the ground I like to start out right away with them getting them operating like you're talking about you want them to operate where they stay straight get back on that back end and then bring them shoulders through like that. I like her. She's she looks to be real intelligent, and she's uh, she's attentive to me and responsive. So I think we we just uh, you know ride her till work a little bit, huh? Right, or till that uh, weight comes off of her and she'll be real good. I think so. <laughs> well, I hope so, yeah, like I said, to me she looks pretty smart and the looks, confirmation she has is uh, perfect for a polo horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice looks, shoulder and, and everything, strong, yeah. yeah. She looks nice. So. Well, I appreciate you. Well, I'll let you work with it. All right. <laughs> we get yeah. another champions here. Well, that another sounds good to yeah. me. Sounds yeah. Well, we're we're back here with Daniel Gallegos. Is that, did I yes, say that right? Yes, you got it, Gallegos. Yeah, <laughs> he's been in Mexico for a month, and he left this horse here uh, with me to ride for a little bit to take some weight off of her. And uh, I don't think I got too much weight off of her. Daniel. <laughs> she looks good. She looks like she's an easy keeper, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's handy. So, I, since you've had a horse here with me, I'd, I'd do some things maybe a little different now than I, okay. than I did then. So I'm just going to show you what I do. This horse, Daniel, when she's fresh, is is a um, she's pretty playful. So I like to I like to do a little bit of, of groundwork with them before I uh -huh. before I start doing something. And you know, naturally, just just going around is useful. And she's she's wanting to go across some poles. She thinks that's what I wanted right there. So for right now, I want her going forward. Okay. Now this is not any different. But what I've changed, Daniel, is the, um, how I stop them a lot of times. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll, I'll send them forward from the stirrup. 
And when I stop, I'll come across and stop by just crossing that shoulder. And when okay. I do that, I don't want her facing up right there. Got you. I want her to stay parallel to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I decide that I want to face her up, as it, then I'll look back at the hip and move that hip away from me. So I don't, I don't want to not have a face up. But what I found was that, that horses were starting to use that face up as a tool against me. Uh huh. And they were really just hiding behind their shoulders. And uh, if I can get them to open up and stay out when I want them to stay out, I step across here wanting to face up there, and she's kind of leaking forward here. She should have stopped back over there. Uh huh. Because I stepped from behind the drive line to in front of it. She's not doing anything terrible, but it, it just. She, it allows me to know when they're listening to me and when they're not. She should be going forward here because I'm back. And that will be that hint of resistance that we talked about that, that uh -huh. she had on her about not wanting to go forward. Uh huh. It's not hard to overcome, but, but sometimes you'll feel that in her. And it's usually... Uh, for her, the analyst, I found it's, it's in times when she doesn't understand what I want her to do uh -huh. and she's trying to figure it out, that's her go-to is, is to kind of... That's why I take it like a second to think about it and then yeah. do what you want to, what hit you're asking that, for. Okay. Hit that reverse. Now I'll show you why she's been wanting to cling to these poles. I like to get them to where, at my suggestion, I can have them go away from me. Like this, she stepped across it. I didn't want her stepping across it there. Uh huh. I have her come around and side pass up onto that pole from this way. <clears throat> See, the going away cue is down low, like this. Then I want to be able to bring her to me, so I, I, I teach them a, a cue like this up high and the significance behind that comes into play when we're getting ready to get on. Because then if, if you, you know, if you've got okay. a box out there, you crawl up on to get on, then you're going to get up there and, and just wave your hand and here they'll come uh -huh, uh -huh. before you can get on them. So, now watch their attitude about how they're coming to me. If her attitude when she's coming to me is not stellar, <laughs> uh -huh. in other words, if she looks like she's pushing, yeah. then I want to send her away from me like this and get her thinking. Why I use the pole is the pole puts pressure on them uh, that on, we on, can't see. Uh huh. And and if she'll just step up there into that pressure and accept it, you know, it, it comes in comes in handy for for anything that we might want them to do so there's there's the come here button not paying attention there's the going away button and I take okay. it away then then she should just stay, stand like that but sometimes like if it's been a day or two since you've worked her when, when you ask her to go forward, she's gonna do more than you want her to do. Uh -huh, she, uh -huh. she gets, so when, when she's doing more than I want her to do, I can take this, whatever I've got in my hand and move it up here in her face and block her off and maybe send her the opposite direction, send her forward. And then I can, I can, I can outmaneuver her with this thing uh -huh. until she, is acting like she's acting right now. This is the end result. You know, she's not doing anything yeah, yeah, yeah. that I don't want her to do now. But yeah, she, what I'm saying is that sometimes she'll do more uh -huh. than I want her to do. And uh, got you. So that's the groundwork that I that I do with them, Daniel, to to uh, to get that Perfect. work working better for me. <clears throat> uh, but for the most part, I I like this mare, Daniel. I I think she's I think she's the best one that you've had here, uh, mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, she's... 
I like the looks and I like it from the beginning, so. Hopefully the, she can. Or the ones you brought She up. can take the polo thing. <laughs> yeah. She, I ones. mean, she's a strong and nice looking mare, so. Are the ones you brought up from Mexico, are they small ones like this too? Uh, yeah, they, uh, I mean, they got the more the handle, you know, and uh, the way these guys work over there with them, you know, uh, you just put the handle, but you just got to teach him how to chain lease on the run, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing that uh, uh, we've been riding them and, and teaching them. When, the, when, when you go in a straight line and stop, uh -huh. they really sit in the back in like really nice, uh -huh. good mouth and everything. But sometimes to move to the sides, they can a little slow. So that's what I, we, you know, we try to do to train them to teach them, you know, for the polo thing, mm -hmm. to, to get quick to the sides and changing leagues back and forth. But they doing it, so, you know, it just take a little time. Uh -huh. I know you guys have got to get on quick. No, I tell you what, Dennis, we've been, I've been using the steps. Have you? Yeah, I've been using the little... Two, two step thing. Yeah. Yes, to we get in all. We don't, <laughs> we don't jump like we used to. <laughs> but and they need to stand there when you get on them. You know, they don't need to be thinking about leaving. No, no, no. That's that's perfect. Yeah. Usually that's what I've been doing with everybody. Yeah. Put the the the, the step and stand still when you hop on it. Yeah. What I'm, what I've tried to do, I think, is going to be beneficial for you. Just, I, I just, whenever I'm looking, that's where I want her to go. Okay. And uh, you know, you, you've got your pole coming around in there to the to the left in that case, or to the right. Feels a feels a little bit tight. Uh huh. So I'm gonna just move her around here a little bit and let her loosen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weather change brings the best out in them, don't it? Oh, I bet you it is. Thank you. 
Katrina, quiet. Che, quiet. He looks good, Dennis. Nice. She had she quite could a really bit of pressure on her. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, and when she's real fresh, I wouldn't advise you ride her that hard when uh -huh. she's fresh. <laughs> but after she's, what I was wanting you to see was she can take some pressure and then she gets like this. Yeah. So some of them, you know, the the more you, more you put on them, the more hyper they they want to get they, they get a little yeah yeah but she comes down with it pretty yeah. good yeah 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 which is that's that's a good sign that's a good sign that she can take the pressure yeah and still be calm don't be like yeah put the pressure and do what you want when you want it and then to stay quiet you know that's the best thing i want to remove her hip here so i can get come yeah. up to this Them stirrups was a little bit long see. for me. They Let's might see be if too we long can do this. Ah, it's okay. Oh, mommy. Let me shorten them up. They were no. Too, this, they were too that's long. good. That's good. Good. Yeah. That's good. All right, Dennis. And she's, she'll respond real well to your outside leg. Uh-huh. <coughs> Come on, baby. Easy, mommy. Easy, mommy. Easy. <laughs> Easy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've uh, worked other horses on her with with a flag like I do sometimes, so this shouldn't bother her a bit. Yeah, she just she just when I go to like this is when she went a little bit, but <laughs> it's okay. She's taking it, you see? Yeah, she's taking it. Look, <laughs> she don't want to like the backhander, like. <laughs> but she's okay. Okay, babe, let's do it. Easy, easy.
she's gonna look him, but she's taking it. Easy, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> She's looking at it when I put it right here. She didn't try to jump over it. That's good. Uh-huh. It's okay. How long will it take you to, to uh, get her ready to where she's ready to start playing a little? Hey, yeah. As soon as she just set it. I mean, she got a handle already. See, we got to get a ball. And it's up to hit it right here. Go this way. You see, <laughs> she's gonna get right there. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Easy. You can use her for a ringer. You show up with the big fat polo pony and all the guys are saying, oh, we got this guy. <laughs> <laughs> for a ringer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll give you the no, chance. but she did, she did everything good, Dennis. I mean, <laughs> that's what I was worried about, you know, to make it go. I mean, Look at it. She's taking a bit on this side than this side, which is okay. The near side, some horses are like that. Yeah. Easy. She's taking it. Oh. <laughs> oh. She should be a good one, shouldn't she? She's doing really good. Yeah. I think she's the best one you've had up here. I think so. Yeah. No, that's awesome, yeah, Dennis. That's good. You know, this Very long, good. As long as you get her, I mean, past that, just a little bit of fresh, and, and uh, you know. Yeah, I can, I can tell. Yeah, I mean, it can, it can be the, the cold weather too. Yeah, yeah that weather. Too, they make yeah. him a little. Yeah. And I can see the only thing she got right here. You see. Yeah. But it's okay. We work on it. But the, the mouth and everything, all you got to do is just touch it. Use yeah. the legs. To make it go. So that's what we need. Un polo. Yeah. Just touch a little bit. And you just follow the ball. Here. Here. Turning with the ball. You know? Yes, mm -hmm. imagine the ball here. Boom, boom, boom. See? She's looking at How big is that ball you're playing with? It's a little one, you know, it's like a little bit bigger than the baseball. A little bigger. A little bit bigger, yeah. yeah. Uh, and what's it made out of? Is it but it's a hard plastic. Hard plastic? Yeah. Yeah. If you get hit, it hurts. <laughs> you get a pretty good kick <laughs> when you get it. Sometimes, you know, when you got somebody in front and you just want to deliver to your teammates, if you're going to go, you go over here and hit it hard. Yeah. Yeah. And that ball goes 80, 100 miles an hour, maybe more than that. Yeah. 
So sometimes you find it and <laughs> you back. <laughs> huh? Crochet. Yeah, but I, 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 this one is like a hard plastic, solid plastic. They, they used to, like in Argentina, they play with the wood, <laughs> with the wood balls. That's what I made of, they still play in it, but now the new technology here in the United States, now they have the plastic ball, you know. But in Argentina, they still playing with the uh, wood, with the mambu roots. That's the way they make the balls, like this way around. <laughs> and that's what they play. I like it because, you know, the sound, when you hear it with this thing, you hear all the way like, quack. When you see the polo match, <laughs> you make more noise than yeah. the plastic one. Yeah, the wood. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you can hear. You know. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Which is good. Good thing you don't have a Super Bowl. Or, or, yeah. Or Super Bowl. Remember them? Yeah. Them real hard thing. You hit it in that thing. <laughs> to hit that thing like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, yes, a little. Little bit this side with a little, especially when you do this. But we can handle that. See? <laughs> Look at the ear. She's like paying attention to. And this side don't care. Uh -huh. Yes, right here is gonna be a little, a little bit, but no big deal. She just need experience and trust. Yeah. Guarantee you she'll be. I see worse. Oh, yeah. When you do this, they like <laughs> <laughs> they go that way. So, <laughs> so no, this one is not. He just, he just show you like say, hey, watch it. I don't like it. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> no, she's. I think she's gonna be okay, Dennis. I think from here. We can start to yeah. take off and start to, you know, start to work with the mallet, like ride it in yeah. the big field, start yeah. galloping, and Are you, you take know, her right on to Florida with you. I, I think I'm take it to Florida with me. Yes. I mean, she's doing really well, and I think that it'd be a waste of time just to leave it behind. Oh yeah. And I think I'm gonna take it to Florida and uh, and work on it. If she's going like this and she's taking it, guarantee you by the time I, be, I come back from Florida, she'll be playing practice. She'll be oh, in the yeah, big yeah. polo field. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hitting the ball and everything. She seems like she's got a good mind to me. Yeah, she does. She does. Mm -hmm. But just like you say, when it's kind of a little fresh, if you give a day or two off, yeah. when you jump on it, you need at least like five, ten minutes to just to, yeah. to work on it. And then she warm up and then it's okay, let's go. Because she's not above bucking. She probably won't buck with your polo saddle, but with them two cinches on there, she was pretty yeah. bronchy. She was a little bronchy, didn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But she not, I don't think she's bronchy, it's just when she's fresh. She just is, yeah, it's, yeah, she is feeling it for the first time. She probably never had a Western saddle before, no. <laughs> you know? So, no, she's doing great. You want me to this mountain over there or That's here? Yeah, wherever you want to go. Oh, girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. She's paying attention. So, when you get down there with her, how what will the what will the uh, program be with her? Will you, will you use her every day, or will you? Yeah, I'm gonna try to get her like. When I get down there, you know, obviously riding singles a little bit like that until she settled down. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I can use her to ride her and take the other ones to pony to exercise the other ones. Yeah. So she get used to the traffic. Yeah. To be squeezed by the other ones, yeah. you know, the main ones. Mm -hmm. So I ride in her and I usually take it one here and one on the other side. And then we go out in the big field and exercise. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes they get a little spooky in the canals and stuff like that. So they go and push her a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nothing happened. Yeah. So she can get used to the, to yeah. the, to the traffic. Yeah. How many days does that usually take? Eh, as soon as they figure it out, it don't take it long. Someone's mm -hmm. take it right away. You know, she might take in a day or two. Yeah. 
and they should be, okay, no, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable with that. And after that, you know, I mean, we got some, like they got a the big track where everybody taking four or five horses at a time. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot, everybody exercising. So she, they get used to the traffic. Yeah. And then later on, you go to the polo field and see other horses and she don't have to be like, oh, who is that? Who is this? Oh, okay. Okay. So she is chilling. So the, the track you're talking about, is it a, it a race track when you're not? It's like a race track, but you know, with sand, where everybody exercises the mm. horses in the morning. How wide is that? Um, I say maybe like 10 yards wide, and it goes all the way around. It's like a regular race track. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so some people walking the horses in the beginning, and some other ones trotting so you can fit. You know, the walking people go inside. Yeah. The trotting people go outside. Yeah. And there's a little fence around it on the inside and outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's good. Then that's not like being out in the wild blue yonder. If that, one of them gets a little bothered, you... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, you know, but, yeah, that's that's the way we teach them to get used to the traffic and, 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 and get pushed by the other ones. And yeah. uh, so she don't be scared and the other ones get close to her and they're going to kid her or mm -hmm. anything like that. Because mm -hmm. sometimes that's what they think. Yeah. When the other one coming, yeah. they're going to respond on biting or kicking the same thing just to defend themselves. She's pretty aggressive to other horses. So I can see pretty, when yeah. she was with the little one, yeah. she put the ears down and she was like, <laughs> give my space. <laughs> well, she used to because she'd be in the pasture with the other mm -hmm. horses. So I bet you some of the horses been mean on her. And yeah. she, now she say, you know what? I'm going to defend myself yeah. too. Yeah, that's so. right. How old is she? She must be five, coming six. Uh, yeah. I think in January she'll be turning six years old. So she's pretty much mature and everything to be pushed and, and find out what she really got. It's kind of unusual to have thoroughbreds with that much bone, isn't it? Yeah. And I tell you what, the father is thoroughbred. I mean, his father is a grandson of a Northern dancer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's where the, his father come from. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, she, she got some of that, and then the mother was a thoroughbred, I don't remember, but her mother plays polo too. Yeah. Yeah. So, hopefully she be like them. Yeah. She'd be a nice, yeah, nice yeah. mare. Yeah, really nice mare. Because I like the bone, the way she's built. Yeah. She's strong. I mean, this mare. Yeah, yeah. She looks like when, a polo when she play, If she plays polo and everything, she, you're going to have a strong horse, yeah. you know, to bump and stop yeah. and turn. And you don't have to worry about going down yeah. <laughs> with this mare, <laughs> strong as she is. Because, yeah. you know, some other people got like kind of tiny horses and stuff like that. So yeah. when you bump and they yeah, <laughs> stumble and everything, oh, what happened? Sorry, sorry, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you got too strong, you got your horse up too strong, Daniel. I say, yeah, <laughs> but I, I like that kind, you know. So, tell me again how you hold that mallet. I uh, put you down there, down like this, and then you just turn around like that. You see, and this go behind, okay. and you just grab it like that, and you have a good grip like that. Yeah, see, with this finger, like kind of like this, so you can. And then you, hit, yeah. you hit that ball, you the, hit the ball like, like this. Sideways. And then when you go to the near side like that, you, you go the same way, but you go like this, like that. So when you back the ball, you go like this. You see, the, the, the mallet also always fly like that. Either you hit the ball right here, you get the ball right here, mm -hmm. and vice versa. When you go on this side, the same thing. You hit it right there, and you hit it right here. Back shot, forward near side, forward, back shot. And what's that thing? Is that made out of bamboo? Yeah. Yeah. The the cane is a bamboo cane. Are all of them that made out of that, or? Yeah, it's all yeah. made of, of bamboo. Yeah. It's hard, so you can you know it bends mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. And uh, it can get broke. Sometimes when you get hooked, you know when you swing harder and the other one come and hook you, so you don't hit the ball. This thing broke. Sometimes it's coming apart. One side of it beveled off and the other side isn't. Yeah, these little things, so, you, when, so when you go like this, you see you got this. Uh -huh. You see so you don't have this part right here. It helps you to be more flat so you can hit the ball. Hmm. See, if you go like this. Yeah, you're sticking in the ground. Right? It's sticking to the ground. So, you, yeah, it's like that. You see, like the head, some people think it's like a hammer straight, but I know you have a little bit of an angle, the way you build it, you see? And then you got... A duct tape around there? Yeah, I got duct tape here, you know, uh, 
I cannot put it on this mallet, because sometimes uh, when we go to early in the morning, to sticking ball we call, to hit a ball practicing, yeah. sometimes the, the ground is wet, mm. the grass is wet. So I put this little thing just to like, the water goes away, I so I don't wear them out, the, the wood. Yeah. When the wood gets wet and you hit the ball one, twice, three times, 300,000 times, the, the, it wet out. Mm. So you put this thing just to help it out. To, to get the, to make the mallet to last longer. Yeah. So, <laughs> how you ended up with a good mallet? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's doing good, Gray. Uh, uh, Dennis, happy with it. I'm excited. Good. To see whether. I'm anxious to see. Yeah, does, yeah, please. definitely. But yeah, that'd be right. awesome. Well, these two are Florida bound. I told Danny when he got back from Mexico, it looked like he got a tan. He said, yeah, it looked like a real Mexican. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I look like a real Mexican. <laughs> yeah, well, well so, I appreciate you bringing her up to me, Daniel. And, uh, no, 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 thank you, Dennis, for helping me out with her. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I just want to find out this. I mean, she got everything. I think with that, I can work on it and, and, uh, and go forward with her. Right. Just yeah. to push it to the next step. And see how how she takes the pressure on it, you know, because polo is a lot of pressure. I know. It you is. know how it is. That's right. I've tried to hold her under quite a bit of pressure while she was here to get her used to it. Mm -hmm. Not, not mm -hmm. more than she could handle, but just to hold her there until she yeah. gets comfortable in it. Exactly. Um, so. so we find out. I mean, look, pretty much look like she's quiet enough, like you say after she work. Yeah. And now look, she's. She's got a smart looking eye. I, I like her. Exactly. So, all right. All right. Sounds good.